Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to give basic format to your spreadsheet. I will focus on how to use borders. You can download the support document for this session in the link indicated in the description. I recommend you to have your computer available while you watch this video to follow step by step. So let's get on it. Here I have a table with just data. So let's give it some basic format adding borders. To add borders to any cell or a range, we will work with the ribbon tab home and the border pop-up menu. When working with borders, you must understand first the behavior of the border action to a single cell versus a range. Let me show you. Let's select cell I3 and apply bottom border with this button. I will move from the cell so you can see the border. Now I will select a range between J3 and K4 and use the same bottom border. Because we have four cells in the range, you could expect the button will apply bottom border to each of the cells, but the action in fact is only applied to the outside borders in the range. And that is what the symbol in the icon tried to describe. Each icon has four cells and it shows you what effects will have to the inside and outside borders. Let's select again cell I3 and use a different control, left border for example. This control might give you the impression that will remove three borders and only the left side will be visible. Well, the bottom border of the cell is still there. That's because the button only has the action of applying the border that is indicated on the icon. In this case, apply left border, but do nothing to the other three sides. There are only two buttons that affect all borders of a range or a cell. No borders and all borders. Let's select cell I3 to K5. Go to the borders and click on all borders. You can see all the cells included on the range have borders now. Let's select the same range, go to borders, and now click on no borders. They're all gone. Now that you know how to add borders, let's make our table look better. Select A1 to G5 and go to borders and select all borders. With the same selection, go to the borders again and now apply the outside border. Select A1 to G1 and go to borders and apply bottom double border. Deselect the range and see how the table look like. I want to use the same double border to divide the brands on cells A2 to A5. So I need a double border on the right side. Let's do the selection and go to borders pop-up menu and search for it. Wait, there is no right double border. Well, don't worry. When you don't have a border that you want on the predefined options, you can go to the more borders options all the way down to the bottom of the pop-up menu. And here you will have more options of lines that you can use and you are also in full control of where they will be applied. Select the double border and apply to the right side of the range. The other three sides will remain as they are. Click OK and let's see how our table look like. To learn more about basic formatting, check out my other videos related to this topic. Thank you for watching, and if you like my content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get access to my series of tutorials to learn Excel step by step. I'll see you in the next video.